Hello YouTube, uh, this is Plucky 76 and I'm going to be showing you how to, oh sorry about that, how to divide with three digits. So first, as always, we put down our division symbol and pick a random number like 508 divided by 6. So can 6 go into 5? No, it can't. So 6 has to go into 50. How many ca times can 6 go into 50? 8 times. So we put the 8 right above the 0. 6 times 8 equals 48. So you put the 48 under the 50. Now you don't put the 48 under the 0 and the 8. You have to put it under the 50. So now... 50 minus 48 equals, well you can't do 5 minus 4 so you have to cross that out, change this to a 4, cross that out and change this to a 10. 10 minus 8 equals 2, 4 minus 4 equals 0. Whoa, that's a weird 0. Anyway, now can 6 go into 2? No it can't. So what you have to do is bring down the 8. Now, how many times can 6 go into 28? 4 times. 6 times 4 equals 24. So subtract. 8 times 4 equals 4. 2 times, no, not times. 8 minus 4 equals 4. 2 minus 2 equals 0. And 0 minus 0 equals 0. So can 6 go into 4? No, it can't. And there's no other numbers to bring down here. So 4 is our remainder. Remainder equals 4. Now, um, if you didn't get this, you should watch the next question. I'll try to go a little bit slower on the next question. But I'm not sure. And, yeah, so here's the next question. 360 divided by 4. So I want to know how many times 4 can go into 360. So I'm going to start dividing. 4 can't go into 3, so we have to put 4 into 36. So how many times can 4 go into 36? Well, 9 times. So you put the 9 above the 6. So 4 times 9 equals 36. And you subtract. 6 minus 6 equals 0. 3 minus 3 equals 0. And so now, can 4 go into 0? No, it can't. So you have to bring down this 0. But 4 still can't go into 0. So you have to show that by putting a 0 up there and there's no more numbers to bring down, so zero is our remainder. And you don't have to put remainder equals zero, but that's, uh, I just did that to show that there is no remainder. But you don't have to do that. I just did it for the purpose of this tutorial. And yeah, next question. Okay. Mm, so the next question, we're going to do 4, no, 807, oopsie daisies, let me just erase that, we could get it all erased, okay, so we're going to do 807 divided by 4, now how many times can 4 go into 8? twice. 4 times 2 equals 8, so now you subtract, and 8 minus 8 equals 0, and 4 can't go into 0, so you have to bring down this 0. And 4 still can't go into 0, so then you have to show that by putting a 0 right above there. Now you have to bring down the 7. How many times can 4 go into 7? Once. 
4 times 1 equals 4. Oh, oops. 7 minus 4 equals 3, 0, and 0. Can 4 go into 3? No, it can't, so that's our remainder. And, yeah. So, yeah, that's basically it. And, um, now if you're dividing with money, let's say you had $603 and you wanted three people to get an equal amount. You can't just divide 603 divided by uh, three because that doesn't work with money. If you're dividing with money, then you have to do a special trick. And I will show you that trick in my next video. So please be sure to watch it. Thank you. Bye.